Hey there, I already record a what's new in patch 2.3 video and now it's time for the second one. What is still missing? If this is your first time here, keep in mind, I'm not a hater for Affinity Software, that's quite opposite. In the last three years I record almost 300 tutorials for this great software, but as a consumer we got the rights to point out what is still missing, what do we need in the next version and it's also this one place when I can get all those negative comments and do something productive with them. So here we are, another update and another what's missing video. So let's zoom in into the first artboard. That's about Affinity Designer. I create a little change log with some important features. Keep in mind that's not all that change, all right? I don't wanna just copy and paste this boring change log with bug fixes and stuff like that important features. So version 2 that was huge, we pay for that, that was the paid update and now from 2.0 to 2.9 there will be three updates and the first one bring our shape builder, then we got the flat fill tool. In the last update they add data entry and view modes. You guys were not very happy about that update and this update is we got this data entry even better so they make changes to data entry mode it's really nice and when you, when you hit enter, let me show you what I mean. When you draw something like this shape over here, let's give it some ugly orange color and then you hit enter, you got this dialog box, move slash duplicate. When we can move stuff around, rotate, even scale. So that's the new thing. Now we can scale it and we can also insert in front or behind while making duplicates. So if you add like rotation and start making duplicates, right, you will be able to easily to easily input that in front or behind, that will be helpful. Take a look, I got those duplicates, I create nine copies, I change each copy to be rotated 20 degree, so that's a really really handy little dialog box that help us to create duplicates quickly. So that was added in the previous one 2.2 but now we got these extra features in it so I think it's worth mentioning. Another thing, it's a brand new tool here in the shape section we got spiral tool. Here it is. Some of you already complained that why do I need a spiral tool, don't worry I got some tutorial in mind to show you different use cases for it and I remember comments from you guys that some of you are waiting for this tool so here it is we got the proper spiral tool right now in this update but this video should be all about the missing features so let's move to the red section auto trace that's still missing since version 1.0 so that's almost what well, that's now almost eight years right Auto blend still missing, no mesh gradients, no vector brush. There's a tool called vector brush, but be careful. That's just a vector path followed by the raster brush. So we still wait for the proper vector brush. All of this stuff is still missing. So if it's essential for your workflow and you plan to buy a Fenty Designer, maybe you need to wait a bit longer for maybe next update. All right, how about Affinity Photo? Look at that. We got less and less feature in each update. I highlight only one thing, pixel grid. So when you zoom in, you can see some pixel grid eventually on your design. But that's for raster editing. Of course, we still get a spiral tool and data entry plus in Affinity Photo because in this update 2.3 most features are cross compatible but there's nothing like special for photo in my opinion we are still waiting for any form of ai selection smart selection where we don't need to select object from the image the program can analyze what is backdrop or the sky what is the person and we can select that quicker people been waiting and asking about ai replace can we have some kind of form of AI content aware scaling when we can replace some elements in the backdrop or we can fill gaps after we remove objects and we got kind of mixed communication from Affinity right now. 
we got one statement where they say they believe in the human creativity and they don't plan to introduce any AI tools. And then we got dev that say that they are working on some smart AI tools that help with workflows, but then will not generate any design for you. So that's kind of like mixed communication. And what I get from that is they are not planning anything like Firefly when you can generate the whole image, but they may be working on some uh, AI enhanced tools. And that's what I need. I need this AI enhanced tools like select object for me. So I don't need to spend 10 minutes selecting sky, for example. All right, so no AI so far and a bit mixed communication. No background remove with one click. We've been waiting for some extra filters, nothing changed here. And you guys complain about creating a nice uh, batch workflows if for photographers to edit hundreds of pictures quickly. We got some troubles with that in photo as well. So not a very big patch for Affinity Photo. Publisher. Publisher was really, <laughs> publisher owners were really happy last time. Version 2.2, so many new features, really nice features. Version 2.3, we got passport PDFs. This will work also in photo and designer, but I put it here in the publisher because that's where we usually create those longer PDFs. So now we can password protect our PDFs, that's nice. And if you use the asset panel, you can change the background color for that asset panel. So you got black assets and you got dark UI like me, you can change that to be a bright background so you can see your asset easier. So small changes here, but we got stable improvement with every version of Publisher. That's the newest software, the youngest brother here in the set. So I'm happy they did not give up on Publisher as this is definitely the least popular software. We are still waiting for PDF forms that we can create for others to fill in. We are still waiting for foreign script support. There are so many foreign scripts not supported in Publisher and that's really weird move because of the price point of Affinity Publisher. They could challenge like Corel in India and Arabic countries and stuff like that. And people cannot switch to Affinity Publisher because there's no support for like foreign languages in Publisher, in Designer, in Photos. So we've been waiting for that for years again. <laughs> They're like simple features that we all need. So we got foreign scripts for Publisher, give us some AI selection for Photo and Auto Trace for Designer. You can get so many new customers that will support the development of the program. All right, so foreign scripts and some additional PDF creation features like more stable PDF exports People got troubles with that as well. When you are exporting PDFs for print purpose, you need to make it perfect. All right, so that's what's still missing after version 2.3 update. Keep in mind, the next update, version 2.4, should be released way sooner. The Affinity State, now they focusing on smaller updates and somebody already joked in the comment section that they're planning to release version 3 way faster, so they're going to push those updates faster, so we need to pay again. <laughs> I don't think that's the case, but they won't release updates faster. That That's year 1. Version 2.0, that was November last year, and version 2.3, that's November this year. So it took them one year for three updates. We probably can expect four updates in upcoming year as they want to speed up a bit. All right. Once again, I'm not a hater, just looking at the change log and checking what's still missing. Feel free to drop your missing features in the comments. So I may include some in this last column next time. All right, thank you for today. And by the way, if you want to learn more about Affinity Publisher, I just released a new Udemy course. I will leave the link in the description in case you are interested. Okay, thanks guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.